Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to OMSI 2. Today we're down in West Country 3 and uh, actually it's not particularly nice weather is it? We're using this stagecoach spec which is one of the many specs uh, which will be available to you. I say stagecoach spec, it's actually not. If you look at the reg plate, it's S670 SVU which is actually a sister to the vehicle that I own, that I preserved, S677 SVU, uh, minus 60820. This is one of the vehicles that was sold in, uh, in a buyout when first uh, sold out to Stagecoach. I think this was a Wigan vehicle, and it ended up uh, in the Stagecoach livery. Now, I, never, I don't know if this ever got uh, refurbished, because, of course, Stagecoach have updated their fleet massively. Uh, however, this is what we're going to be driving today. So this is actually exactly the same spec as mine inside, but obviously it's going to come with this lovely livery. Uh, there is also another spec of uh, vehicle that you get. Hang on. There's two specs that come with the Stagecoach livery, so the other one might be refurbished. It might have different seats and it might be slightly different, but obviously don't forget... Uh, oh, hang on. We'll just put 60820 in, it'll be fine, won't it? Duty number, yeah, service number 122. Uh, hang on, that'll do. So, yeah, obviously what we need to remember is uh, that there were different specs. So, like, there'll be a... Uh, first, Bolton had some, which were different spec to the uh, to the West Yorkshire ones, which were different specs. But there were so many different specs of renown. So there might be that stagecoach livery on a different spec. You've got these black doors as well, uh, which was... Uh, First did a lot of black doors in Manchester, didn't they? Uh, over that side. They were all liveried, the ones that we had. They were just pink and, and blue across the door. Uh, so the livery would carry on across, but obviously not here. Right, let's get the... Uh, let's get 122 on the destination. Oh, hang on. No, that's 12. Right. No, that's, that's not what we wanted. Let's try again. There we go. That's better. Painting. No, are you... You're not having 122, are you? Hang on. I'm sure this will all be fixed uh, in time. One, two, two to, uh, to, to paint and there we go. Are you lot getting on? You know, because uh, there we go. If we uh, if we just move forward ever so slightly, are you going to come and get on my bus? No, it doesn't. Oh, hang on. There we go. So basically, you want me to draw up next to the bin so that you can't get in. That's essentially what you want. Okay, no worries. Well, I could do that. Morning. It's Hello, 20 past mate. five in the evening, love. Ooh, give me a day rider, mate. Of course, the uh, the good old Wayfarer Hi. machine seeing us through. Can I have a child single, please? Uh, two, three pound ten. Thank you, dear. This cash tray is so much easier to use. I think I've said this for the last three days. But it really, really is easier to use. Oh, hang on, I've not moved me, not moved my wheel. Now we're using uh, this is a 4K texture, so I don't know quite how OMS is going to behave with the 4K texture in the rain. Oh, hang on, flipping heck. Yeah, 4K texture in the rain. But actually, if you look, I think I'm going to bounce it up the curb. Uh, I think this is the first Renown that we've driven where it actually has the assault screen look. Look at that, brilliant. I like that. I mean, uh, I, d I don't know if perhaps he's just added that in or all the variants he's given me so far don't have the assault screen. But it's got the assault screen, so that is absolutely fantastic. Oh, that would be Curb. Let's say no more about Curb and let's get some headlights on because it is, of course, raining. Yeah, I do like the assault screen. That's, that's brilliant. It's a shame there's no, like, kind of way to make the passengers quieter. You know what I mean? Because, um... What I have learnt from uh, from driving my Eclipse Hello. is that with the assault screen Hello. rattling, it's very, very difficult to actually hear what people are saying. Uh, 1, 20, 35. Can Lovely, thank you. Yeah, it's very difficult to hear what passengers are saying. Now, obviously, I realise that this is all empty here. My particular renown has a, another bit of plastic across the front here. Because um, I always think that these assault screens were quite funny, like you could literally reach round. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, it were, they put the effort in. They tried. That was the main thing. But what they'd actually produced is just this, the world's worst assault screen. But yeah, it'd be good if you could make passengers a little bit quieter when you've got the assault screen spec. I, I don't even think that's possible, to be honest with you. But uh, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, let's just, way straight up. We'd definitely have scraped that bus then. We've got the nice Volvo axle rattle sounds. And of course, Stagecoach is mainly a voice company. 
But of course, don't forget that these have been purchased from first group. So it's just a first group spec. I mean, the interior is just all first group, isn't it? Oh, hang on. That is a gentleman's bottom. Why are you all stood up at the back? Oh, it does sound good, doesn't it? Studio Polygon really have done such a good job with this. What we do need to do, however, is pop down to the front. Oh, they're already all for... Ah, right, I wondered what that was. Earlier, I drove uh, round the corner a bit fast, and I heard a load of crashing and banging from back there. So it must have been the seats falling down. Oh, West Country's been having some traffic problems recently, hasn't it? Look, he's stuck. He's stuck trying to turn right. That's no good. I don't know quite what's happened, because I've never had any issues before. And then all of a sudden, we've got loads of traffic problems on West Country. Right, here we go. So we need to obviously uh, turn right and across that traffic. But I don't think, however, however hard I try, I can never beat that traffic. So there's no point trying, is there? Alright, here we go. I don't know if there'll be a spec available with full uh, stagecoach interior. I guess someone will repaint one eventually, won't they? This is the sort of vehicle that would really suit the Scunthorpe map. There's nothing to say that you can't, like, pretend that they've had these... Uh, was it stagecoach Wirral? Was it first... Round there it was, and then they've, they've changed it into Stagecoach and Wigan and Wirral and Chester and all that. Um, but yeah, there's no reason that you can't have a fictional Stagecoach interior, is there? Saying, oh, well, you know, it's transferred to Scunthorpe and it's living out the remainder of its days plodding round there. It certainly does seem weird having the B10 BLE in, uh, in Stagecoach livery. Because, of course, they preferred their ALX 300s, didn't they, Stagecoach? In fact, most of their fleet at one point was them. ALX 300s, ALX 200s, Dennis Darts, you name it, they, they kind of... Alexander and Dennis, this this literally stagecoach, isn't it? Well, it is now. I think Mr. Suter owns, uh, owns both. Hence why uh, stagecoach is such a heavily Alexander Dennis dominated uh, indus uh, like bus company. Because you may as well keep your money in the family. <coughs> That's why I always think when you get like stagecoach livery eclipses, stagecoach livery Gemini's, Gemini 2's, it just looks weird, doesn't it? It just looks very odd. Very odd indeed. Right, here we go. Oh, we're running a little bit early. Right, here we go. A single ticket, please. Thank you, madam. Oh, sir, you've, uh, your ticket is... Oh, hang on. I can do... You see, the mirror doesn't always update, does it? That's an OMSI feature. If you're not quite looking at it fully, the mirror won't update. So when I'm looking like that, I could see the man in the mirror still. And no, I'm not about to burst out into song. Looking at the man in the mirror. That's, uh, we'll leave that to Michael Jackson. I mean, to be fair, to say that this is a 4K repaint, and it's raining, I think it's handling it pretty well. You know, I was expecting a little bit more lag than what we're getting. What? Can I have a child single, please? Oh, you can. Thanks. They're very polite, these children, aren't they? These doors are pretty decent on this spec. Right, let's see. I don't think we're going to get through these lights, but what I'm going to try is I'm just going to pull in and leave the back end of the bus stuck out in the road because this is a notoriously difficult bus stop to pull out of. 
and everyone kind of overtakes you and then you can't get out they kind of block you in don't they thank you child for the exact change i appreciate that so i thought if i leave if i tact tactically tactfully leave the back end of the bus stuck out in the middle of the road they can't get past <laughs> may i have a return ticket Brilliant. Thank you, child. Look at that. That's the first time. I think you'll notice every time that I drive this, I have problems getting out of this bus stop. But not today. This is obviously, we're going to have to be more of an inconsiderate driver uh, for, you know, for future reference. Oh, hang on. Stop. Don't want to run into the back of the Ford Transit in front. This is definitely the superior vehicle for the 122 today, isn't it? We don't want to be using a... Uh, excuse me, that is very much a red light, sir. Sir! Sir! Oh, he's not bothered, is he? You know, he's just broken the law and and he's not asked. I guess he's committed. You know, I, I, it's, not, it's not okay when other people commit. It is when I do it, you know, do as I say, not as I do. Right, off we go. Right, there we go. Lovely. Oh, hello. Mr. Suber, please, £2.65, lovely. £20.35. Oh, we're losing time. Right. Let's not forget this time that we actually need to go around the, uh, around the caravan park, don't we? Oh, I remember the days this used to be a roundabout. Oh, we've committed. Yeah, that, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Rattly axle Volvo. Brilliant. Thank you, Sands. It's fine, all you people. You just, you get out here. Oh, no. I think I could probably get round there. Of course I can. Look at that. Professional. Absolute height of professionalism. He did make this easier when uh, when he updated West Country. It's definitely a lot easier now, isn't it? With the, uh, with the kind of... The pavement that's not a pavement that is a pavement. You know, you can swing your bus over it just to help with the cornering. Oh, here we go. There's people here. Sorry, I'm I'm a little bit far from the curb there, aren't I? Really? Yeah, I'm quite a quite a long way from the curb. Right, child, return. One twenty forty five. Lovely. Hello, lad. May I have a single, please? Thank you, driver. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let's uh, let's just have a nice little picture of it parked up. You can never have too many screenshots. Right now, before we're late, let's uh, let's go, 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 go. I mean, it says 15 down here, but who has time to do 15? Robust, so it's okay to speed. Like it's perfectly acceptable. There we go.
Righty, oh, so let's, uh... Can we get out here? Don't think we can. Of course we can after this one. Go, 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 go! Everyone hold on back there. I can hear people whizzing across the bus. The G-force is just unbelievable. Foot down, 50 mile an hour in a 50 zone. And somehow we're still losing a bit of time. You always seem to at South Beach. The recent timetable update for this. I say recent timetable update. The, you know the version where they got rid of the roundabout back, back there and changed it to traffic lights and dual carriageway. The recent update is definitely not as, uh, not as easy to remain on time down here, I tell you. And it's always this South Beach stop. It's not so bad on the 122 as it transpires, but for the 12, you just always end up running late here. Stop request. Yeah, I mean, all the buses go literally the same way down here, love, apart from the fact she might want to go to the hospital. Okay, I get that. Let's have a look. There's always someone that pokes a nose out of this stop. I don't know why there's always someone parked here. All the time, isn't there? We'll just block this keep clear. Fine. It's fine. Oh, hang on. Sorry, child. I've not picked up their coins, have I? Three pound and ten pence. Lovely. Oh, this is so annoying. Every time I drive this B10 for OMSI, it really makes me want to get my B10 back on the road. 60820 is currently sawn, which does make me very sad. Problem is as well with the fact that I've just bought the Eclipse. There's that much money to spend on things at the moment. It's difficult. It's difficult getting the B10 back on the road. It needs a little bit of work doing. Nothing like... It's not like one big job as such. It's just lots of little jobs. But lots of little jobs do amount to, to one big job, don't they? There's just a lot to do. I love how all these put... You know, like companies put little things in like that. Pull away when safe. Like, mm, no, do you know what? I, I just thought I'd pull away into head-on traffic. You know? It's a it's a sign that doesn't actually mean anything. Like, this means something. Reverse horn should only be switched off uh, between... Or should be switched off only between these hours. See, that's a useful little reminder. But, you know, who needs reminding to pull away when safe? been snowing. That could be something to do with this 4k repaint. Or it could just be Omsi being Omsi. Oh, we're experiencing a little bit more lag now we're getting into painting, aren't we? To be fair though, I am really, really impressed with how Omsi's handled this. You know, bus, 4k repaint, rain, 
we've, we've kind of asked it to do a lot, haven't we, really? And it is handling it pretty well. There's only a little bit of lag. Oh, hang on, someone wants to get off here. Flippy neck. Sorry. Oh, hang on, that child is trapped in the doors. Oh, no. Of course, I've mentioned it in many other videos, but if you've not actually uh, watched any of my other videos, why not? But, um, yeah, if they're sat in this seat at the very front here, when they go to stand up, they end up looking like they're trapped in the doors. I'm assuming that that will be sorted before release. Right, well, here we go. We're arriving into Paynton Memorial Crescent, where this bus will terminate today. I really do hope you enjoyed that. I really did. I think this spec is uh, is a really nice spec. Well, I would say that because I own a spec like this. But yeah, I think with the stagecoach livery, it's really, really nice. And of course, it does bring the B10 to uh, an audience of people who might not like first group. They might have stagecoach around where they live. And, uh, you know, they want to see stagecoach buses. So it just adds that extra... Uh, adds that extra, um, I don't know what I'm saying, it adds that extra something or other, I don't know what. Um, but yeah, if you're a Stagecoach fan, you too can enjoy the B10BLE. If you enjoyed that, please do click the like button, it's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you never miss out on any future B10BLE action. Other than that, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.